Hi, welcome to Clarinet HQ. This video covers duet number 10 within the Crossing the Break Survival Guide. This is the last duet video lesson play along with that goes with the Crossing the Break Survival Guide. So if you haven't been working from the beginning, we suggest that you go to the Clarinet HQ website and the link is listed below in the description of the video and you can download the workbook and the music and you can start from the beginning. So if you would like to skip to the play along, you can go to this time. In the duet number five video, we talked about six, eight time and how to count it. So the top number six tells us how many beats are in a measure and the bottom number, the eight, tells us what gets one beat, which are the eighth notes. Now duet number five was slow enough that you were able to tap your foot to each beat in the measure. Duet number 10 is faster. It is at 96 beats per minute. And so you might get like a shin cramp if you try to tap your foot in 6-8 time when it goes really fast. Ouch. So the way around that is we are instead going to tap our foot twice per measure on beat one and beat four, okay? The idea is that you are going to feel two big beats as you're playing this duet and six smaller beats. So let's look at some examples from the music. So here's the counting for measures one through four. Because you're only tapping your foot on beats one and four, it would be really easy to then just not count beats five and six, but you don't want to fall into that trap because then you might not hold that dotted quarter note out long enough. So you want to make sure that you are subdividing and hearing all six beats in the measure while you're playing. So I'm going to play measures one through four and I have my metronome set so that it only beats on beats. It only clicks. What do you say a metronome sounds like? It only sounds on beats one and four. Now, if we look a little further into the duet near in measures six and seven and eight, okay? We start getting quarter note, eighth note rhythms. Now remember, in six, eight time, a quarter note gets two beats because there are two eighth notes within a quarter note. So in order to make sure that you're counting this correctly, you wanna make sure that you're subdividing, okay? So that might mean that when you first start playing this music, you are playing the individual eighth notes within the quarter notes. So I'm going to slow my metronome down and I'm gonna start one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna start right on measure six and I'm going to play each of the eighth notes as they fit within the measure. So you heard that I tongued each of the eighth notes that fit within the quarter note. So once you get comfortable, then you can play the quarter note, eighth note rhythm as it's written. So when you tongue the subdivided beats, that is then what should be playing through your head as you're playing the rhythm that's written. All right, let's play. Thank you. 
One, two. <laughs> Congratulations! We just finished the Crossing the Break Survival Guide. Now, it's a great idea to hold on to these types of workbooks because as musicians, we're constantly honing our craft and wanting to improve. And so it's a great idea to go back and to review this information so that you can be the best clarinet player you can be. Now, if you have feedback about the workbook or if you have questions about anything, you know where to find us. You can post them in the comments below or you can go to our website and contact us through there. Um, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media so you can stay up to date with all of our content. Happy practicing. What does a metronome sound like? These are the hard questions Clarinet HQ asks. <laughs> if, a, if a metronome sounds in the forest but no one is around to hear it, does it make a sound? <laughs>